when a show is created at a certain moment in time, that show is created within that moment in time. If we were going to bring back a show, well, and let's try to retell that story from today's perspective. One, two. Soleil's mission, to just copy and paste a show as it was, was not necessarily the thing to do. One of the things that we've done in the last few weeks is uh, have a phone call with Franco Dragon. He basically said, if you're going to put Alec Ureb back on the road 25 years later, you may as well take it from today's uh, perspective. So Franco was very much on board with this idea. At Cirque du Soleil, this is what we do. We, we look ahead, we try to innovate, we try to push our boundaries. And if we were going to bring back a show, well, why not try to do that, to do a rereading of it? Je pense que ce qui est intéressant avec Allegria, c'est que le propos était toujours d'actualité. Le soulèvement populaire, le vent de changement, cette volonté-là de changement, de pousser, de créer quelque chose de nouveau, de bousculer l'ordre établi. We'll be following Mr. Flora, who, at the loss of this kingdom in, in perdition, believes that he should be the next in line to govern that uh, kingdom. Alors, bienvenue aujourd'hui, c'est les auditions pour le personnage principal d'Alegria, donc M. Fleur. On a trois candidats, donc on va faire des exercices. On va travailler avec eux sur ces mises en situation. Ce qu'on cherche, c'est trois choses. La construction du corps, comment ils bougent, comment ils sont capables de déconstruire le corps, le rapport d'imagination, puis s'ils sont capables de nous faire voir des choses qu'on voit pas. Create your free. All three together. <rire> On cherchait, on a trouvé plus. Ça dépend de quelle direction tu veux les prendre. Ben, ils sont tous différents. Je trouve que, mettons, Eric et Lois, c'est les deux qui voient le mieux. Okay. Puis, euh, et creatively, je trouve que quand même, ça reste que Eric est plus d'expérience. Ça paraît. You know, he doesn't do much and he makes you laugh. So there's something about him that's... C'est ça. T'sais. On sait euh, avec qui euh, on veut travailler en ce moment, puis euh, qu'est-ce qu'on veut ben, développer. Ouais. Je pense qu'on va espérer que ça fonctionne, parce que hein, c'est pas signé encore. We have uh, 25 artists that arrive in Montreal. Uh, we are really at the first glimpse, basically, of putting those acts together. We are in the research and development mode. We're looking into, okay, what we can do with this kind of apparatus? How can we work with it? Front salto with the bar. Yes, good job. An original artist of Alegria, who's now our uh, acrobatic uh, content designer, Emily Terrien, and she had the chance to go to a creation with Franco Dragon, uh, to be there when the show is coming to life and all that. And now she's she's looking at it from a different perspective, but still carrying that whole soul of the show. So we're bringing back some of the disciplines that we had at Alegria in 94, and we're bringing some new stuff as well. And some of the new things are things that are inspired from an original act, but that we evolved with other disciplines, uh, created hybrids and things like that. So what we're trying to do is push it further. We're really elaborating right now all the uh, ideas we had in our heads and see if it works. And then after we can move further into the process and really bring those acts together. Rush, là, on peut <laughs> I'm pretty 
tough with the artists. I, I ask them to give it all. I ask them to get really involved with their work as well. But I think it's for a great cause too, to, to really bring that passion on stage and to really live the stage. This is my first time on this. It's very high. I'm sweating, <laughs> the heart is pumping a lot. Like I'm like, I'm shaking so <laughs> And it doesn't look so high from, from down here, but when you're up there, oh boy. And then can you imagine just standing as you're getting used to this, but you also have to do skills and throw yourself off it. The guys are really comfortable up there because they've been training since like June or July. So they're many steps ahead of me. And that's something I have to remember too, is that they were probably in my position a few months ago. So they're trying to help me too, because they understand. Today I was definitely like more aware that of how high it really is, I think, I don't know. Hello, my friends. Hello, welcome. Yes, nice to see you guys. I wanted to meet you guys because a director with no one on stage is nothing. So what's the DNA of the show? This show is about humans. It's about us. We're bringing it back to the meaning of fighting for something. People go to Circus Y for two hours. The most important things in their lives is to look at what you guys want to tell them. It's always important that you feel that what you're doing artistically, it's important. So anytime you have questions, you don't know what you're doing and why you're doing it for, you got Emily, you got Eve, you got me all the time. There you go. Why make it easy, right? Why make it easy? All right. Being part of this creation, the new generation of Valkyria, is amazing. Welcome to your playground. Everyone experiencing it together will bring us, uh, will make a very strong team, a strong cast, and strong show. Mm -hmm.